Hello and welcome to the weekly announcements here at Calvary United Methodist Church. I just want to say a special word of thanks to our choir, our orchestra, our children's and youth choirs, all of our musicians who performed last Sunday morning and made our worship service such a fabulous morning of worship. If you missed it, be sure and go to our YouTube channel, go to our website, you can find the link there that will lead you right in and you can watch the service. We also had a lot of fun caroling to our members and friends in our community and we had a good time last Sunday night. This Sunday, December 19th, we are having an outdoor service of lessons and carols that will happen out in the north parking lot at 6 o'clock p.m. Come hear the stories of the season and come and sing with us the hymns that we love to sing. On Christmas Eve, we will have a candle lighting and communion service at both 3 o'clock p.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. in the church sanctuary. We will also be live streaming both services, so if you can't be here in person, you can still watch and worship with us. If you're looking for a Bible study or a class to join in January or February, Eric has posted some options in Master's Commons for you to review. You can also get more information in From Our Hill and you can begin signing up for those classes this Sunday. The Youth Basketball League is back and you can find the weekly schedule in From Our Hill that will tell you about our youth boys basketball team, our, our senior high boys and girls team. And so you can see when they play and where they play and you can come out and join them and cheer them on. We're going to build a Christmas card display in Masters Common. So if you'd like, please send in your Christmas cards to the church office or bring them in on Sunday morning for the display. In an effort to keep everyone safe with this new COVID variant, we're asking you to continue to wear masks when you're in the sanctuary, the CLC, the hallways, and all the common areas of the church. Adult Sunday school classes, committee meetings, and small groups can decide their own policies about masking for their group. Our children and adults working with our children will continue to wear a mask at this point. The Finance Committee is also asking for your help. We have sent out some follow-up to our stewardship letters, and um, if you haven't turned in your time and talent and treasure survey, uh, please take a few minutes and fill those out and send them back to the church. We're trying to build a budget for 2022, and we need your support. You know, we are a people of prayer, and there are many things to pray for this week. Um, many of us were awakened in the middle of the night over the weekend, and we saw the line of storms that caused damage from all the way from Arkansas to Missouri to Illinois to Tennessee and Kentucky. And um, we just want to pray for the people who have been affected in those areas. Um, I drove to my hometown on Monday, and I saw a line of destruction in a couple of different places. Uh, homes were destroyed, uh, trees were downed like matchsticks. Uh, so please pray for all the folks who have lost loved ones. Pray for these communities and cities and, and places that have been completely devastated. And uh, we will have a chance to respond. Uh, our staff is working on a, a work day coming up on January 8th, where we hope to go to Bowling Green, Kentucky and serve alongside uh, United Methodist Churches up there. Uh, watch from our hill. We will be letting you know more information as we get a little bit closer to that event. But uh, we're going to we're, we're taking up money now. Currently, uh, we will send it on to United Methodist Committee on Relief. We'll send it on to our disaster recovery here in Tennessee so that we can get work done now. And we will pray for these folks. We will be with them and we will continue to journey with them uh, throughout this ordeal. We also ask that you look at from our hill and pray for all of our church members. Uh, remember that our new folks that are on the list will be in bold and then just continue to pray through the list and pray for all those who need our, our help and our prayers this week. I hope you will come out and join us for worship this Sunday. We will hear the story of Mary. So join us at 815 and at 1030 in the church sanctuary. If you can't join us, remember you can still watch online. Uh, we will be streaming both of those services straight on our web page. You can also call and listen to the service by calling 615-239-5392. Hope to see you this weekend as we continue in this holy season of Advent. Take care and hope to see you this weekend for worship. See you soon.